Hello guys and welcome to our first official Reliance FX weekly analysis. Uh, we'll be doing this every week on a Sunday where we're going through our watch list and analyse the currency pairs for the upcoming week. So starting off, we'll be looking at DXY, the dollar pair, the dollar currency, sorry. Um, as we can see, the dollar has uh, increased in value and has shot up in the last couple of weeks. However, it reached a 103 mark and reversed. So now we'll be looking at it going down. To analyse this pair, we're going to start off first by drawing the zones to see the areas which the price has deflected the most. So as you can see here, this is the zone which I just picked up straight away, seeing it. Obviously it bounces here once, two, three. So zoom in, you can see here as well. Four, five, I'm waiting for the fifth touch there and reverse at that area around here. Also, for show going a higher time frame, so on the four hour, we can see it, we can see here um, a bear flag pattern about to form. So let me go back to the one hour and draw the trend lines to make it more clear. That's it. So we can see we can see here the impulse correction, and now I'm waiting for the impulse down, which gives us the uh, formation of the bear flag. For this to happen, we will need to first uh, the price will need to first come around this area and read and reject from the resistance zone and give us a push and break this bottom trend line to complete the formation of the bear flag. So to help you see this more clear, let me go here, let me go, I'll draw it for So impulse, correction, anticipating to the resistance zone, break the bottom trend line and gives a continuation of the bearish movement. So this is how I currently see it. Another another way you can see this uh, movement as well is that let me get the um, extension to figure out. Yeah. The 618 aligns with the resistance zone areas that I've just highlighted there. So what we can see here is that the price reversed from the 103 mark broke the support zone and it's now going for the resistance which will push it further down for the bearish movement so this is how we we'll see the dollar playing out in the upcoming week and hopefully it plays out as it makes more sense because three confirmations the zones the bear flag pattern and the fib extension which matches with a 60 61 8. Now moving on to the second pair, Euro Pound. Euro Pound, it's been a same thing as well. The Euro against the Pound has gained uh, momentum and upside for the last couple of weeks. And now has reversed and is retracing from the movement it caused due to the coronavirus as well. No. So let's start marking it up. First, start by the outer structure trend line. So it confirms the direction which is the price is going. And secondly, the inner, stru the inner structure trend line, which is about here. Obviously, I kept on, uh, was keeping a close eye on this um, trend line last week as it kept on uh, rejecting and respecting it. But however, before the market closed on a Friday, it broke this trend line, the inner structure trend line. As you can see here, it respected it, respected it, rejected that it broke it, gave us a retest on a pin bar candle. And now I am seeing it go into the out structure trend line and hopefully rejecting from there to give us the continuation of the bearish movement just to make it more clear 
so it broke. Now we're seeing the next reject, uh, rejection zone will be around this trend line here. So drop, give us the bearish movement. That's good to have see it playing out. As I do think the euro pound will continue to break. I mean, will continue to drop, sorry. As we can see here, it's been respecting the 6 to 1 8 area. It rejected off it once, twice. Now I'm hoping it will come to this um, outer trend line and give us the break towards the downside. However, um, a bit, uh, when the price gets to the outer uh, structure trend line, I will be taking a sell from there unless it doesn't give us um, a reversal signal such as the candlestick for example a doji or a pin bar so the first uh, target profit will be to the 618 which is around 100 pips if it breaks the 61 area i will re-enter as another sell for further movement so that's not that's much really it for the euro pound waiting for the price to reach the trend line and break down so moving on to the pound USD, pound's been a really interesting pair for the past couple of weeks. As we all know, the huge drop that pound dropped against the USD, that's obviously due to the coronavirus outbreak. And we can see that the pound has reached its lowest point against the um, euro, uh, dollar, sorry. And however, dropped, I think, almost around 1,600 pips, if I'm correct. Literally nearly 1,700. That's the lowest it's ever been in the market history. However, it reversed and it's now retracing the drop. And hopefully uh, we will see the price going up. However, for now, let's analyze the pair and see what's, what direction it's going, be, going to be taking. As you can see here, it's up trend line. It broke it, went for the retest, and now it's started to drop. Secondly, we're drawing the area of into zones. We can see. All right, we can see. It tested it there once, twice, three, there, four, and now it broke it, went for the retest. It gave us three candles, which is a pin bar, another pin bar, and a doji. Three candle, three reversal candles is a big indication for a reversal. Also, we could include the fib extension. Literally. There we go. So what do I see here? I see the price broke the support, which is now acting as the resistance for it to retest. At the same time, aligns with the 61.8 level, FIB level. It's very important to find three confirmations, especially here in um, Reliance FX. We always look for three confirmations. This is due to making a uh, making a trade risk free and gives us the green light to enter trades because three confirmations will show us that the trade is valid and we can enter straight away. All right, right yes, you can see the price broke. Went for the retest. Hopefully, give us the continuation towards the downside however this is a this is a short term so i still do believe long term the pound will continue to go up as more as the uk continues to fight this virus and stabilize around it so that's it for the pound usd we can let's go on to the next pair which is euro usd 
we we'll start off by drawing our trend line and going straight to the recent touches. There you go. This one is same, same setup. It came, rejected off the support. Around here, broke it, and now it's going for the retest. This is very important for the yellow real estate because it happened here recently as well. The same sort of setup. You can see here, same thing, rejected here, rejected also here, but it broke, went retested twice, and dropped. So I can see it happening again around here as well. Rejected, broke. The support now it's retesting and it's acting as resistance which will push it towards downside however there is another scenario if this doesn't happen straight away or if the market opens and it gaps in the case of the news the price could however consolidate until it reaches to this trend line and then give us the push downwards however i don't believe it, that will happen. This will be my first scenario to wait for, which is going to play out as soon as the market opens because it gave us gave us a pin bar and doji. Like I said before, two reversal candlesticks shows a huge indication of a reversal. So I'll be watching this very closely as soon as the market opens because I believe it will play out really, really soon. Also, just an extra confirmation, the FIB level aligns with the support and resistance zone, and doji has, well, the wick of the doji is re rejecting off the FIB level 61.8. That's it for the USD. let's move on to the pound CAD. And cut as well. Let's see it as a shot. It's dropping. You can see here this trend. It's been this trend line has been respected once, two, and this is a third touch. However, we draw. The zone. Which is obviously it's been tested there once, two, not even around here, tested so many times around here as well, there, and now I see it rejecting off there as well. So, also, if you do draw a fib level, bank on aligns with. The support and resistance zone and the third touch of the trend line. This indicates a strong bearish movement towards the downside. I'll also be uh, looking at this very closely when the market opens because I believe it will play out soon. If not, if not right, uh, if it doesn't create uh, like a doji, a reversal candle which it should do to, to indicate the downwards movement and indicate the signal that enter the cell. So it's pretty much straightforward to sell up. Moving on now, moving on to the AED CAD. AED CAD also has a similar sell up to Pound CAD. Let's see. Draw the trend line. So, so you see here the price broke the support, retested it once. It's going for their second retest, which is also aligns with a 50 EMA. Also, if you go down, if you go up to the one hour and apply. 
the fib extension level that as well aligns with the support and resistance zone and the reset the second retest which is due to happen which indicates a bearish movement so how i see this happen retest one more time give us a drop however if due to the market gap uh, gaps or news it will correct and give us a sell from the trend line here so from there it will either give us a trend line from here but this is an ideal situation so i'll be looking really closely when the market opens for the um, reversal candles and taking action if they do form so that's it for the AUD card moving on to the nzd card you can see that um, pound card, AUD card, and NZD card have all got similar setups. This is just, this shows us that the Canadian dollar is a uh, gain value and is the whole, as a currency is gaining strength. So that's why most most players against the Canadian dollar have similar setups. So for this one, exact same as the AUD card, drawing a trend line, get the zones. This is actually very, very similar to the AED CAD. So what it's done, tested there, bounced off it, bounced, came here, bounced off the trend line, broke it, retested it there once, gave us a pin bar, now it's retested again. Also, if you do draw the FIB level, same, same thing aligns with the support and resistance zone. This indicates the sell for us. I'll also be waiting for a reversal candle just to give me the green light to enter this, to enter the pair as a sell. So that's pretty much it. You can see it broke it, retest, second retest, down towards the downside. However, like the AED CAD, if the market opens and it gaps or gives us either way, it will, will we be anticipating a sell from the trend line there or that. And again, the ideal situation is from the sell to be from the supply and resistance zone as this is a second retest. So that's it for the analysis. If, um, we went all the food, uh, went through the pairs euro, pound, pound USD, euro, USD, pound card, AED card, and then this NZD card. Um, we'll be watching these pairs very closely and I'll be updating everyone on our Telegram group chat. So make sure you uh, join it if you already haven't, which will be down in the description below. Um, I'll be keeping everyone updated to see if the pairs are about to play out. If, if the pairs, um, there's a change in setup. And if you've got any questions regarding the analysis, you can message us there directly. And that's it for this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it.